And welcome back to this edition of Home Track Heroes here on CW11 from Evergreen Speedway. We are seven laps deep into our Buzz In Steakhouse Stinger 8 main event. Before we get back to that, though, I want to remind you uh, this uh, segment is sponsored by Sparkle Wash. Their Puget Sound is Sparkle Wash Puget Sound is your source for residential and commercial power washing services for over 55 years. Technicians can handle it all. No project is too big or too small. Log on to sparklewash.com and schedule a complimentary quote. They are sparklewashpugetsound.com. So get out and check them out. We thank them for being a big part of this. Okay, let's get back to our main event for the Buzz In Steakhouse Sting Rates. Like I mentioned, we're seven laps into it. It is Talon Kolar, Gary Reardon, and Tyler Draper, your top three. Michaela Larson is still in this one. And uh, Damon Claiborne is still with us. Cody Hoops in that 7D car. Keep an eye on that because anybody uh, behind the wheel of that 7 car is going to be in the picture here. Uh, Cody Hoops is a several-time champion in this division. You see they do that, what's now known as the Delaware Restart. We have proved that ad nauseum. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. And we are back underway. Yeah, one to watch also, too, is that 18J, Jackson Beckel. Yeah. Jackson's had a great race so far. Up on a podium earlier, and that's when I finally realized that I graduated high school with Jackson's dad. So, you know, oh, that cool. was kind of a, a nice there realization that, uh, wow, you know, it's, it's been a number of years, I guess. And, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome to see that there as they go three wide. Michaela Larson on the outside, Jackson Beckel on the inside. As you see now, Jackson able to jump into that third place spot with the uh, 40 car right behind there of Andrew Rendiers that's holding on firmly to fourth. Yeah, it's like uh, we had talked about, Talon Kolar pretty much owned uh, the first segment of this race and Gary Reardon just hanging in there. So proud of that young man. I call him young man because we're about pretty close to the same age. Uh, but he still absolutely loves doing this. His son races in our BECU NASCAR Mini Stock Division and is doing a superb job in that. But uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for a good finish by the number two. Jackson Beckel, like Greg mentioned, has taken that 18J car up. There's another great shot of Damon Claiborne. Uh, also the uh, 57 machine of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, of, uh, of uh, Michaela Larson. Sorry about that, Michaela, as we keep an eye. Beautiful vinyl job in that 57 car, too. Yeah, and that continues to be a great race between the 57 and uh, the 43 of Damon Claiborne there is that. We saw them earlier on in this race about 10 laps ago to see the two of them battling it out. And we definitely see the 57 of Michaela Larson still holding firm right in front of the 43 of Damon Claiborne. But uh, the 40 of Andrew Rendier is just kind of holding Michaela Larson off as they come around turn number four and through the intersection. It's a little bit of a top three breakaway as they head down into turn number one down at the south end of the race course. There is turn number two. We've got a flagman spotted. Oh, and there they go right in the intersection one more time. And uh, we've got... Uh, what I think is going to be that one cool part about this group, a lot of them have in-car cameras and, and GoPros and whatnot, so we might get to see some pretty cool shots as we get uh, the cars all stopped, brought out the red flag. Everybody stops just as soon as you can, and uh, let's kind of see how this all unfolded here because they're coming out of turn number two, everything looking good, and then all of a sudden it looks really, really bad. Yeah, you see the 19 of Talon Kolar just coming right into the side of the 05, Travis Krieger. And here's another shot here as we see the 19 in the lead and just almost meeting simultaneously in the intersection. So really a rough uh, rough end to the race for the 05 of Travis Krieger, but uh, even worse for the 19 of Talon Kolar as Talon had a, a pretty substantial lead early on. And now you see the 57 of Michaela Larson as we go inside the car there, just smooth and seamless able yeah. to go through. Yeah, it's so impressive. The thing that I was, oh, and look at Gary Reardon just getting bounced all over like a ping pong ball inside that thing. But a great job of getting it. Now we're going to see Talon Kolar's view of things as uh, he comes out of turn number two. And cool, holy smokes. And the uh, thing is still just kind of spinning around there. He'll want to replace that bracket for his GoPro and probably that switch that he just slammed down. But understandable. I mean, a lot of the you kind of see the emotion that gets involved in these things. And that's what's cool about this sport. Doesn't matter if he's in a $75,000 Outlaw figure eight car or a $7,500 Stinger eight car. If they're that much, they still have the passion and they still, you know, it still affects them. Well, it's it's amazing, too. I know we see it coming out here early on a Saturday to see how much time they actually spend out here on Saturday. 
what we don't see is Monday through Friday, and <laughs> exactly. we don't see Sunday, right? So yeah. you can imagine the amount of passion that people like Talon Kolar has put in, and, and to see that lead that he had and see that first place to be erased all of a sudden right there in the intersection, too bad. All the drivers were okay, and that's always a good sign. Uh, and thanks again to all of the people that do the behind-the-scenes stuff here each and every Saturday night at Evergreen Speedway. Tough luck for Talon Kolar, who had a great, great show, but got caught up and, and uh, off to do some body work. Yes, yes, indeed. So here, as we have just about a half lap remaining before we have a green flag, we have the 18J of Jackson Beckel. Next row back is the 40 of Andrew Renders. On the outside of Andrew is the 57 of Michaela Larson. So although not great for Talon Kolar, a great break for the 57 of Michaela Larson and also the 43 of Damon Claiborne that we've been watching all night long. And now you see that great jump by the 57 of Michaela Larson jumping to the inside of the 40 of Andrew Renders and hopping all the way up into second right behind the 18J of Jackson Beckel. All right, there you see Beckel now just going in to, out of turn number three into turn number four to finally get the score and resettled back down, and we've got 17 laps to go. There's Michaela Larson in second. I was also impressed by the run of the 77 of Caleb Childs. He's been hanging out there in that uh, above mid-pack in that fifth and sixth spot as he was having a great battle with that 7D car driven tonight by Cody Hoops, like I mentioned earlier, several-time champion in the Buzz-In Steakhouse Sting Rates and also in our Interstate Battery Hornet division as well over the past uh, quite a few years that Cody's been out there so good to have him back out there always a class guy and uh, races hard races clean and just does it for all the right reasons so uh, back up front with now 15 laps to go still Jackson Beckel yeah and like we saw earlier with the 19 of Talon Kolar kind of grading some of that distance we see the same thing with 18 J of Jackson Beckel and the 57 Michaela Larson who's not letting Jackson get out of her sights whatsoever there as they come into turn number three having to lock up the brakes a little bit there coming into turn number four and going to have 14 laps remaining in our buzz and steakhouse stinger eight main event this evening but uh Really, uh, really fun to see those two hopefully battle it out. Really want to see if the 43 of Damon Claiborne, who you see is now back, it looks like in fourth or fifth at this point, uh, but really a battling out. Love to see the 43 of Damon Claiborne kind of catch up to Michaela Larson as we've had so much fun watching those two go back and forth so far. There's a real pack of gangsters right there. The 40 of Andrew Reinders, the 7D of Cody Hoops, and the 43 of Damon Claiborne. Looks like the old bump or uh, boat races that we used to have where we chain cars together and uh, car it was just a lot of fair night activities and that was always fun to watch but uh, they get them straightened around and they are back out grinders with narrowly hanging on in that uh, what appears to be a honda and coops is just trying to anything he can to get underneath them there's caleb childs just hanging on good job there a little bit of smoke coming out of that thing the 13 car tyler draper uh, don't know if he's got an issue or not but he's actively trying to get to that <laughs> number 77 car well, it looks like, as you see coming by, this time by, it's the 77 Caleb Childs. Looks like the muffler is dragging through, and there's another bump. That was that noise I heard. <laughs> yeah, Tyler Draper getting another bump and just kind of moving Caleb Childs out of the way almost. And you see that, that nice-looking red 13 car able to pass by the 77 as they got cleanly through the intersection. And there, once again, you see the 18J of Jackson Beckel and 57 of Michaela Larson making it cleanly through as they come back through again. Everybody clean and everybody okay. You saw the 98X of Tom Hibbs just kind of sitting there waiting for everybody else to come by, <laughs> waiting for that opportunity to be able to make it safely through. You know, I was noticing on the last lap, Michaela in the 57 really took a hard look to the inside of Beckel and did a great job. I think she almost got to the <laughs> the the point of decision like boy do i keep going or do i back out and try and do it on another lap but she had a really nice recovery coming into turn number one but i would keep my eye on that number 57 car she is just looking for that one spot and she's may only end up getting one chance to get around the 18j and we see just kind of at the corner of your screen there, the 40 of Andrew Rinder still holding into third, but right behind Andrew is that 43 car of Damon Claiborne. So once again, they just continue to battle back and forth. But as they're doing that, we see the 18J of Jackson Beckel and the 57 of Michaela Larson just separating themselves that much more from the rest of the pack. As now it's kind of getting a little bit more nervous as they go through the <laughs> intersection. We see that was the 07 of Zach Bristol that kind of snuck through there with the big wing on the back of that Hornet car itself or the Stinger 8 car, but uh, we're able to see them cleanly get through. And now this next time by, it's going to be five laps, so they're still on 
six laps to go. Uh, you know, I say this every time we have a race that Zach Bristol is in it, but there. Oh, I'll get back to that in a second. Check it out. Larson down on the inside going into turn number three. Let's see if she can hang on and get around. We've got a new leader with five laps to go, and that's Michaela Larson in the 57. Jackson Beckel has moved, or excuse me, Josh Beckel has moved into uh, the second spot. And Andrew Reinders has climbed up into third. Like you said, what a fun move to see the 57 of Michaela Larson to be able to pass by Beckel there on that last uh, last turn in turn number three, turn number four. And so now they have four laps to go. But uh, so awesome to see. We've been watching Michaela Larson all night. We've been watching that battle from the back of the pack or the middle of the pack and then coming all the way up to the front uh, with her and Damon Claiborne kind of going back and forth so much. But now it's her and Jackson Beckel as we see Beckel doing a little bumping there as they go into turn number three. But three laps remaining now for the 57 of Michaela Larson. Boy, and here's another scenario like we were talking about in the Youth Hornet race. Here we got uh, a potential first time winner in this division with Michaela Larson as we oh man oh. did that get <laughs> that was so cool has uh, got my attention all messed up but so looking forward to seeing how this race is going to turn out Michaela Larson really opened it up in that uh, straight away between turns one and excuse me turn four and turn one yeah, so here we see Michaela Larson in the 57 making it cleanly through. Once again, we saw the 7D of Cody Hoops just sneaking through there. And there it is, the white flag for the 57 of Michaela Larson. We have the 18J of Jackson Beckel. And now in third, we saw that battle back and forth between third and fourth between the 40 of Andrew Rendiers and the 43 of Damon Claiborne. Now we have the 43 of Damon Claiborne in third and getting cleanly through again as they come around for the checkered flag. And there she is coming out at turn number four across the line. It is the 57 first time win for Michaela Larson. Congratulations, Michaela and your entire team. Here's what it looked like uh, just as she came out at turn number four. Just a little bit of excitement there, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. And then, oh, yeah, both hands on the wheel. Now I'll start slapping it. There we go. That is so cool. What's on your mind? Um, it feels really, really good to be up here in first. Um, there's no one else I'd rather be battling with like that than Jackson. He's such a clean driver, and it was a really fun race. And uh, I know the obvious questions, how do you feel? Everyone here knows how you feel, but this is just so special. Yeah, it's like an unreal feeling you can't explain. And now I hope my husband can do the same in Wenatchee. That's right. We checked earlier. He did qualify number one over at the Wenatchee Valley Super Oval. So cool. Uh, and congratulations on that. Talk about the people that help you out with this. Um, I just really have to thank my dad. He bust his butt on not only my car, but all the outlaws, late models. And of course, my husband, Gunderson Speed Job, my mom, and PECOS Chat Challenge. That was just the coolest thing I think that's happened all year this race. So well done, you guys. Uh, thank you. I really wanted that win. The intersection messed me up again, but we'll get it next time. And I saw it when you and, and Michaela got out of the car. In fact, Damon, too, this group of racers has just got to be a blast to race with. Uh, yeah, I like all of them. They're just nice people. All right, you got a pretty sweet T-shirt on. Talk about who's helping you out. Uh, JBR, John Bender, Dawson Cox, Steve Cox, Dave Riddell, uh, Brandon Lindberg. And Damon, third place, great run, phenomenal race. Uh, and we got a great winner, incredible top three. How's it feel? Uh, feels pretty good. I was hoping to challenge those two for the lead, but I got stuck behind some people and it took me a long time to get around them. So, uh, I mean, everybody drove pretty good tonight. Uh, it was a good main, it was a good field of cars, and it was kind of nice to see, for the most part, cooler heads prevailed tonight. <laughs> Very well done. Talk about who's helping you out. Uh, I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Raritan's Dodge Chrysler, Jeep Ram and Monroe. Uh, if you're looking for a car or you just need your car service, please come on out and see us. Um, I want to thank Brandy Hood Promotions. She's awesome. She's been doing all my GoPro footage for me, and it's definitely a lot more making it on the TV show this year. So and then my dad, my wife for supporting me. Um, Zach Bristol, of course. Uh, I normally am driving his car. Uh, but tonight being an off night for the Hornet class, I was able to drive my own, so 